Well, hi, boys and girls. I've missed all of you so much. My goodness. Welcome to my program. Today is all about Old MacDonald, but you know who I am, right? Mrs. Hicks, your favorite music teacher. And of course, I am wearing my wonderful bunny slippers, and you can kind of hear them shuffling on the floor when I'm walking. Okay, Old MacDonald. I'll bet when you were little, you remember singing this song, and it's about horses and cows and pigs. Old MacDonald, it kind of goes like this. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a horse, E-I-E-I-O, with a nay-nay here and a nay-nay there, here a nay, there a nay, everywhere a nay-nay. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Do you remember that? I do too. I remember singing that when I was little. Now on the recorder, here's what it sounds like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna put the music in front of you on the sheet music so that you can all see it very clearly. Let me get this in front of you. Okay, so here's what your sheet music looks like. Old MacDonald, okay? So again, you know, you can stop the computer and watch the screen and play along with it. Or you can take a picture of this screen and print it out so that you've got the sheet music. Whichever way, you can just look at this over and over again. But anyway, it starts out with four over four. There's the time signature, meaning four beats fit into the measure, and the quarter note gets the beat. And the notes in this are all Bs, As, Gs, and a few Es in it. So that looks like there's no, uh, no, Actually, there's no Bs in it, okay? So it's just a C, A, G, E, and D. Okay, now let's see here. So basically, as you know, you just start reading on the left. C, 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 G, A, A, G. Do you see that half note there? White note with a stick is two beats. Here's your two-handed note. E, E, D, D, C, two, three. And let's see what else. Uh, ah, when you have a dot next to your half note, that is a dotted half note, and that equals three beats. So you play C, two, three, you're counting three beats for that C. Here are your eighth notes, which you've seen already. And each eighth note, when they're hooked together, it looks like this, hooked together by a single bar. Each of those is worth a half of a beat. And how I think of them is you just kind of say the word grasshopper. So two eighth notes are hoppers. So it's like C, two, three, hopper, grass, 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 hopper, grass, grass, two beats, hopper, grass, hopper, grass, hopper, hopper, grass, grass. Okay. So those are hopper, hopper, four eighth notes in a row. And here's our final note is a C and that's a whole note and that equals four beats. So again, you know, here's the music, and now I'm gonna move it out of the way, like so, so that I can point to my wonderful whiteboard. It kind of makes it a little easier for me. Okay, so let's do a little bit of reviewing first. Here's our whole notes, okay, the big fat circles. Those you hold for four beats, counting to four. Four beats. And your half notes, two beats, if this is the speed of the beat, half note would look like, sound like, just like that. And your quarter notes, black note with a stick, those are the one beat notes. You had a bunch of those, if this is the speed of the beat, counting to one. With each one of those. All right, here again, those are your eighth notes. Okay, so think hopper, hopper, bum, 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 would be the speed of those guys. And then there's our dotted half note, and that's your three beat note, which you do have in Old MacDonald. 
Okay, before I start going over all of this, these are the exact same notes as the sheet music I just showed you. Let's review our fingerings, guys. All right, you know the drill. I do this every single time. All right, here's your B. And I know B's not even in this, but let's do it anyway. B, pinchy B, that's the pinch. Thumb in the back, first finger on the first hole, okay? And your A, just do it with me, guys. Hold it in front of you, I'm watching you. And your G, and your A, and from the A to the C. Thumb in the back and second finger on the second hold, there's your C, okay? A, C, A, C. What is your D? Take off your thumb so it's just your second finger covering the second hole, that's your D. All right, so once again, B, A, G, C, and then the D. Practice those all the time. You can practice with a pencil if in, in, in your hand if you want. That's fine too. Okay, now, in this song is your two-handed note of an E. So, let's see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna write three over two uh, under those E's. And let me go over that again, and which I've already done in some other songs, lots of other songs. So the E is your two-handed note. And I call it three plus two. What does that mean? Three, meaning your top hand, your left hand, it basically you're fingering a G up there, okay? And then that's three. And then two, you're covering the next two holes with your bottom hand. Three plus two, feel that pattern in your fingers. There's your E, three plus two. Remember that, guys. Okay, now, there are two E's that you can play with this fingering. One is a low E, which would sound like this. Let's all play that together. Finger your low E, meaning your thumb is covering in the back all the way, and this is what you get. Are you playing it with me? Let's do it one more time, and blow very softly, softly. Now in this song, we have the high E. How do we know it's high? And I'm gonna put this in front of you one more time. Okay, do you see how this E up here sits high up on the staff? It's up on the staff. The staff are those five lines. When it's a high, you know it because it's sitting high on the staff, so it's a high E. If you had a low E, the, the E would be written down here as on the bottom line. So this is the high E because it sits high up on the staff. Now, to make it high, what you do is you just stick your thumb nail through that hole a little bit, okay? And when you stick your thumbnail through that hole, it'll pop it up to the high E. Here's the high E. And low E. High E, let's all play it together. Just stick your thumbnail through that hole. And so a little bit of air escapes, and again, blow softly all together. Good. If you blow too hard, here's what you're going to get. Ooh, we don't want that. Now, sometimes I hear kids doing that. We want soft, slow, smooth, warm air. Okay, now, in Old MacDonald, what comes before an E is a G. This one is actually not bad. G to an E. So let's practice doing that in our fingers, okay? Now, what we do, since this is a this song has a two-handed two note in it, at the beginning of the song, I tell my students, go ahead and finger that two-handed note. In this case, it's an E, three plus two. Now, keep that bottom hand in place. Don't move it around, just keep it there. Because if you start going like this or like this during the song, you're gonna be a hot mess. When you need that E, you're gonna be like, ugh, it'll be a mess. So, finger, your E at the beginning of the song and keep keep that thumb stuck right there. Don't move it, keep it in place so that when you do need that E, these two fingers are ready to go down. It's, it's, it's not bad. And again, you just wanna keep your fingers close so they can find those holes. Now from a G to an E, what do you do? All you're doing is this, G, two fingers down, G to the E. And just try to remember then to put your fingernail through the thumb hole so it's like G and then E, and just kind of shift your thumb, your back thumb a little bit at the same time. Okay, now let's 
Let's just finger the whole song together. So again, you're starting on the left and you're moving it, you're just like reading words. C, 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 G, A, A, G. And above these notes, I wrote down the value of the notes. So basically, these are all quarter notes and the G, I put a half note above it, meaning you're gonna play it for two beats. We, luckily, we know how the song is supposed to go. And what else is a little bit different? The C, that's worth three beats, so I put a, a dotted half note above it. And again, I did the same thing here. And in blue, these are all your eighth notes. So after this C over here, you're gonna go C, two, three, hopper, grass, 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 hopper, grass, grass, two beats, hopper, grass, hopper, grass, hopper, hopper, grass, grass, bum. All right, let's finger the song. Okay, so finger your two-handed note. Here it is. Keep that bottom hand still. Okay, so let's do the nine. Here we go, start from the beginning, start on a C. One, two, finger, and say it. C, 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 G, A, A, G, here's your E's three plus two. E, E, D, D, C, two, three, G, second line, C, 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 G, a, A, G, use your E's, three plus two, E, E, D, D, C, two, three, G, G, C, 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 G, G, C, 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 bottom line, C, 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 G, A, A, G, E, E, D, D, C, two, three. Ah, oh, good, because the last note is a whole note. Now, before we play it, let's practice going from an E to a D. Okay, that was a little bit of a sucker punch. E to the D. Here's your E. Think about that D. Now, what is it? Every single finger off, except for that second finger. So, E, three plus two. Hold it against your chin. It's a little easier to practice it that way, so you're not going to drop it. Here's your E to the D. E to the D. Feel it. All you're doing is keeping that second finger on that second hole. E to the D. E, D. And relax your fingers. Relax, 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 relax. Are we ready to play it? I'm going to see how much more time I have. Fantastic. Perfect. Here we go, guys. From the top, let's play it. One, two, ready, begin. Once you get the hang of it, speed it up a little bit, and before you know it, and you can play it faster. So again, you can just watch this, watch this lesson over and over again, and I'm gonna put this in front of you one more time so you can see again what it looks like for you, okay? And you can just stop the camera, and um, stop your computer and just read it from there. And that would be fine too. Okay, well that was a lot of fun. I love Old MacDonald and it's a great song for your first two-handed note because an E, a G to an E, it's not so bad. All right, boys and girls, miss all of you so much. I know, I am home. I cannot wait to go back into the schools to teach all of you. And you know what? Keep coming to my channel. I'm gonna post 
more lessons. And I think I'm going to do another one today. So anyway, love you all. Be good. Stay safe. And you guys take care. Bye.